What's up? I'm Vin, and today I want to take a look at this geometry problem. We have a regular hexagon, A, B, C, D, E, F, and it inscribes two equilateral triangles, A, C, E, and B, D, F, which in turn inscribe a circle of radius 10. And this, altogether, we have six smaller circles of radius T are inscribed, as shown in this figure. We need to find the value of T. So just know T represents one of these radii here of these six green circles, the small circles. So we were told that in this regular hexagon that this circle on the inside has a radius of 10. So there's a few ways we could go about this, but the first way that jumped out at me is if we were to look at this figure over here. So I'm going to draw in a radius, and this radius is going to be 10 units long. And I'm going to connect this radius to point A. Now since this blue circle on the inside is inscribed, when I connect the radius to a point on the outside, and I extend it out along one of these lines here, I can make a 90 degree angle because this circle is inscribed. And now I'm gonna connect a line straight down like this, and this line is gonna to go to the center here of circle O. So what I have is I'm gonna call this big distance here from A all the way to O. So I'm gonna call this distance, let's say for now I just call this, let's say W. And what we have is because this is a hexagon, a hexagon there are six sides and if we look here between this section here like if I were to focus from let's say here to here that's one-sixth of the hexagon so that would make this central angle here 60 degrees so I'm gonna label this angle here on the inside as 60 degrees because once again if I were to connect from O all the way to B and then O all the way to A that's going to be just one-sixth of the hexagon. And in full circle, there's 360, so divided by 6 is 60. And now that tells us up here that this angle is going to be 30 degrees. So we have a 30-degree angle up here. But really all that we need right now is that we're going to use the cosine function and say cosine of 60, which we know is equal to a half. But this is equal to the ratio of the side adjacent to the angle. So adjacent to 60 is 10, divided by the hypotenuse, we labeled as w. Now what this tells us, cosine of 60 is a half, and if this is equal to 10 over w, we could cross multiply here, this will tell us that w is equal to 20. So now that we have the value of w, we're gonna label this picture a little bit more. So now I'm gonna call this distance from here to here, we're gonna label this as 10 because the radius of circle O is not gonna change. So this distance from O to this point is gonna be 10. And now we said these smaller circles have a radius of t. So I'm gonna label this over here as we're going to label this with a lowercase t and now the distance from this center all the way to the end all the way to the end up here i'm going to label that as y now if you're not careful here if we look a little bit closer you could see here that this circle doesn't quite make it to point a there's that little space so if you're not careful you might label this distance from here to a as also t but just know that i'm going to call it something different because it's going to be a little bit less than t because it's not going to make it all the way to point a like this so now what I want to focus on is I want to look at this triangle over here. So I'm going to extend out another radius within this green circle to this point. And now I'm going to focus on this right triangle that I'm highlighting in pink. And I know this is a right triangle because these six smaller circles are inscribed. So if I draw the radius to a point and then I extend out, that's going to make a 90 degree angle. So now let's zoom in on that a bit. So we have this over here. So this is our right triangle, not necessarily drawn to scale. The hypotenuse is y, and be mindful here that in a hexagon, each of the angles are 120 degrees. And I know this because any angle of a regular polygon we could find by doing n minus 2 times 180 degrees and then dividing by n, which is the number of sides or angles. So in a hexagon, we have n is equal to 6. So that would give us 6 minus 2 is 4 times 180 degrees divided by n equals 6. And if we work this out, this works out to two-thirds. 180 divided by 3 is going to give us six, uh, 60, and then times 2 gives us 120. So that tells us that each of these angles here, the entire angle is 120 degrees. So if we chop this straight down the middle, that tells us this angle at the top is going to be 60 degrees. So now what we have is we could also label here that the distance from the center to this point is going to be t. So we have this right triangle where we have this is t and this is y. So now we could set up another ratio. We could say this time around that sine of 60 is equal to t over y. And since our ultimate goal is to find the value of t, what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve this equation 
I'm going to solve it for the in, like so that it's all in terms of t. So I'm going to solve this for y. So what we could do is we could cross multiply. So we're going to have y times sine of 60 is equal to t. And then we're going to divide by sine of 60. So we have y equals t divided by sine of 60. And now just substitute here. We have t divided by radical 3 over 2. And if we use keep change flip here or just take the reciprocal, this is going to be 2 over radical 3 times t like this. So now let's combine everything. What we just found before was that the distance from a to o was equal to 20 units because remember we labeled this as w. But what we could also say is that a o is equal to would be 10 plus and then we would have to go forward t units and we'd have to go forward y units. So now if we work this out, this is going to be equal to we're going to have 10 plus t plus y we just found is 2 over radical 3 times t. But now what we just said is that a o is equal to 20. So now we could set these equations equal to each other. So we're going to have 20 equals, we're going to have 10 plus. And what I'll do here is I'll factor out a t. So we're going to have t times 1 plus 2 over radical 3 like this. And now we're just going to do the algebra. We'll subtract 10 on both sides. So now we're going to have 10 equals, 10 minus 10 cancels. And we have t times 1 plus 2 over radical 3 like this. So then we just have to divide by 1 plus 2 over radical 3 and we'll have our solution here. So let's just type this in. We have alpha y equals enter to pull up a blank fraction and we're going to have 10 divided by so we're going in the denominator we have 1 plus and I'll put another fraction so alpha y equals enter we have 2 divided by square root of 3. So now we just work this out and this is going to be 4.641. So after everything cancels out once again we're saying here that t equals 4.641 that is the value of t.